bought a 100 watt solar panel last week off eBay sent me back about 73 quid including free post and packaging the time now is about half past five the sun's quite strong still I just want to go through a few stats it's pump, pumping out into my batteries and uh, we can have a look at that now so there's the MC connectors in the middle coming straight from the solar panel I've got them going to just some speaker wire at the moment those are designed to be kind of like weather resistant with the little flanges that go inside of each other on the left I've got a multimeter connected up in um, that be series that will to measure the amps and then on the right I've got a multimeter measuring the volts in parallel right there and that's where a solar charge controller is super important to prevent discharge of your batteries as you can see the voltage on the right is quite low and it won't be able to charge a battery at that voltage because it's varying between like 4 volts right up to about 11-12 volts but on the left you've got plenty of amps to work with so what the solar charge controller does is ramps up the voltage to a realistic battery charging voltage but regulates the amps at equally so if you if you're getting seven volts out of the solar panel it will double up the volts but half the amps and this is all explained in the other video about amps explained inside now connected up to the single battery we've got the multimeter set up the exact same way we've got the on the right the volts showing the standing battery voltage about 12.9 volts on the left we've got the amps no drawer at the moment because the inverter switched off but what we're going to do switch the inverter on the solar charge controller is going to kick in and regulate the six seven volts it's produced out the panel at four amps ramp that up bring the amps down and charge the battery so we're going to switch the inverter in now so we've got the high current drawer now on the left so on the right you've got the volts creeping up to about 13.6 volts to charge and left we've got we're charging about an amp really which is quite good quite impressive for a solar panel that costs 73 quid all in that's going to go up on the roof it's going to trickle charge my batteries and then in the event of a power cut or something i'm ready to go as always please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you later